well, I've been a Philscap member for the longest ever since. From the start of my career, I've, I've been a Philscap member. And at some point, I was uh, constantly asked by the guys who were more involved in Philscap to take part in a more active role in, in Philscap. Actually, for so many years, I'd been saying, you know, I've been declining. I thought they were doing a, a great job anyway. Up until, I think, three years ago, uh, two, a little over two years ago, Chairman uh, Nono Itana asked me again. I would bump into him in the airport or in events, and he would say, when are you going to help out be a member of the board? And shortly, I think, before we bumped into each other that time, I was talking to colleagues. Sina Chito Miranda, Jay Kamikaze was there, Black Nine, Yael, and we were wondering about Philscap, they were asking me questions. At that time, I think I knew a little bit more than they did about Philscap, pero hindi pa rin complete yung understanding ko. We had our ideas of what it, it was, and also we were hearing also some not so nice stuff, so we were wondering, ako, instead of guessing, I decided to find out firsthand what Philscap is all about. And maybe when Sir Nono Itan asked me to join, I think he asked me, Glock9, and Yael to join at the same time. And both of them were more gung-ho and said, yeah, sige. So when they nominated me to run for the Board of Trusts, I said yes, thinking that the other guy said yes to. Pagdating ng election day, hindi <laughs> pala. So I was the only one uh, we got elected and I sat in the board of trustees for two years and learned so much. I finished that term. I decided to run again as, as, and serve again as a board of trustees because my learning curve, eh. you're learning and, and then sayang all these things that you learn when you can actually be more efficient na in giving inputs and other stuff. So I decided to serve again for a second term and come election of, of officers, they were very persistent in asking me to, to be the president. Noel Cabangon had already served uh, many, many years and had already done so much and they felt that it was my turn. I honestly wanted maybe more time as a trustee. In the end, I, I accepted, I saw the wisdom in accepting it at a time when you're more relevant as an artist and you're more active as an artist. I didn't want to wait for the time where I'm not that relevant anymore. Ergo, will have less leverage that I can use to serve the society. So it's a bit of a sacrifice actually because it will take Sometime, yeah, and away from you know your art, business-wise also. As president, wala naman sweldo. It's volunteer work. Maybe this needs to be done uh, while I have some relevance. Hopefully, I get to find someone also who will <laughs> replace me when the time comes. A term is two years, and uh, so we're working on a lot of things. Hi, I'm Rico Blanco and you're on Radio Republic.